five plants basically on the floor, or start, we sort of just start on the floor. There's a lot of different levels to it, so you could use it with somebody who's not very advanced, but you could also take it way up to the advanced level, right? Uh, springs again, so again, red and yellow or red and blue, difficulty is coming in, so red and blue is going to help you more, but if somebody's not strong in their arm and shoulder, a red and a blue is going to make it impossible for them to press out. So you have to sort of weigh what, what your goal is and where you're going to help them. Um, and I'll show you with one of you how you can support this one to make it uh, helpful, to be helpful to somebody. So with star, um, I start on the side, I'm going to put my hand to the middle. My, I never know how, quite how to describe this. Under leg on the back one, my over leg on the front one, right? So I'm going to start with just a prep, which is just coming in and lifting up. Right? So I'm just lifting that hip up and pressing through the shoulder. Then I can do thread the needle. I'm going to come in, rotating, and back out. Right? And then up, rotating, and out. And then I can do the full version, which is here, right? And as I come in, I reach forward. As I go out, I point back, right? So there's a bunch of different ways to transition from here, one of which is I put the foot back down, and I roll into plank, right? And then I'm in a nice plank. And then I center the hand and keep going. And now I'm on the other side. Right, coming up first, threading the needle. Right, and then I can go to full star, coming forward and reaching back. Now to dismount, you can go back, step down, oops, on the platform, and bring the carriage in. So you can just use your block here. You can just use the box. Yeah. Um, oh, snake. snake. Snake is a tough one. So for snake, the foot part goes down. We're having the same spring issue, right, as we're having. So we'll find the one that's right and stick with it. All right. So it's going to be this foot and left hand. So opposite, same side hand and foot. Okay. So here we go. Up, tuck the foot in and snaking down, and up, and then for twist, I'm snaking down and turning, and the foot can turn too, and I'm coming up and bringing it in. So that's snake. All right, corkscrew, um, all the springs go on for corkscrew, because we don't actually use the springs. So, and headrest goes down. So corkscrew is like corkscrew on the floor. The difference is I have the pegs, so I have a little help. Um, so if you remember, it's I go up and over. I'm going to turn, come down the spine, circle back to the center, going up, turn, come down the side of the spine, come back to center. Up, right, turn, down, and up turn, and down. I could go lower, if I can stabilize. Sorry, I can't talk upside down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's a nice warm-up for the control balance dismount, which is really fun if you like gymnastics. Mm -hmm. So Laura's going to be our superhero here. Mm -hmm. Basically, I go up, I drop one leg, and I open into an arabesque. I place that foot on the floor. Beautiful. Wow. Then I come up into the arabesque. Oops. I'm holding on the shells back there. Right? And then I can go back on. Right? Oh, wow. So I like to come close, put my head down first, and roll right back down onto it. And then I can go up and over the other side. Shoulder rest, that's first. So, wrong foot, Sarah. Wrong foot, yes, yeah. To the back. 
Yes. You're going to step up. Do you want the box to step on? That's probably good. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then you're going to come up, bring the other foot up, lift up one arm, and you're going hips up towards the sky, and down, and up, and down. I had two reds and yellow. Oh, that one, yeah. yeah. And then from here you go thread the needle. So lifting those hips up, circling under, and then out. So the carriage should move in as your arm circles under. Lift those hips up, and then out. That's it, Sarah. Nice. Nice, but you say, yeah. Good. And that's it. Good. And then holding, lift up the front foot. And if you're not feeling stable enough, just hold that. So you to lift your hip up more. Yes, now you could kick the front foot forward. And reach for it with your hand. And then kick it back. Okay. Yes, there it is. And the carriage should move in as you tap your toes forward. In all the way. And out. Oh, yeah. And out. Good. Now try to find your plank. That's it. We can do a couple planks and then we're rolling right over to the other side. Get this if you couldn't get it 
and center to come up and over to the side coming up down and up right and so your legs are only going to come down as low as you can get them keeping your back imprinted in the reformer right Good. And then dismount. That's it. Come all the way to our best. Hands up. Head up. Shoulders up. Body up. Where is that body? <laughs>